I'm back. So um, the second element, the second frame is the rotation. And this is, I'm warning you in advance, this is probably the hardest one to understand and to execute A because there's something um, really specific about the motion and I think many people get it uh, slightly wrong. It, it is complex, so bear with me. I'm going to make it super simple. Uh, the idea of rotation is basically the idea of switching weight from one note to the other. So from this note to this note and back. That's rotation. Why is this helpful? If you put your hand, if I'm just dangling here and I just put my hand naturally on the piano, it really wants to be in this angle to the keyboard. In order to start playing, I need to drop the weight and to go back to the original position, I have to return. So I call this drop or active motion and this is back passive motion. The truth is that any combination of two notes on the keyboard is going to be a combination of this active and passive. If I'm, um, let's start with, with bigger intervals. So passive, active, and return. Now I'm going to sit here for five minutes, do this, just to prove the point that I'm not getting tired because only half of this motion is active, the other half is passive. But that would be boring, right? So. It's all passive, active, passive, active motion. Uh, if we take this principle to a simple scale, the pinky is at the end of the rotation, mus rotation motion, so it's going to be a passive motion. There we go. A sharp is going to be an active motion. G sharp is going to be an active motion. F sharp is going to be an active motion. Thumb is an active motion. Okay? I'm going up, it's now going to be a passive motion to the F sharp, passive to the G sharp, passive to the A sharp, and passive to the B. Again, active, 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 passive, passive, and that's rotation. Uh, if I want to continue the scale, there's something really bizarre happens. Even though I'm going to go down, I'm going to a finger that is higher, and therefore it's going to be a passive motion. And that's where it gets difficult. Then active and active again. Why? Because if I'm if I'm just playing thumb third finger, active, passive, active, passive, active, the motion for the third finger is still going to be a passive motion, even though the pattern is down. I know it's confusing, but once you get used to it, it's a piece of cake. Now the beauty of this motion is that you can see if, as I'm rotating back, as I'm doing the passive motion, the thumb is released. Ta-da! Okay. Um, so let me just quickly elaborate on the rotation thing. Um, like I said, the first thing, the beauty of it is that there's always just half of it is an actual motion. It's a dropping of the weight. It's not even a motion. Some people don't really understand when I say passive and active, what's the difference? Literally, this side of things is just dropping the weight and the other side of things is returning the weight to this original position, okay? Um, I think what I notice about this the most is that, especially when you have intricate um, things, but even now, even if you're just doing, there is a, a nice control that comes with thinking about rotation. That gives you control on each and every finger. Um, now let's talk about common mistakes with rotation. I think, first of all, people need to understand that it really is a motion on each and every finger. Now, if I'm playing a scale fast, you're not really seeing the rotation. So I see a lot of people go and they try to imitate the big rotation motion as they're playing fast passages. That's not going to happen. There's a reduction of the motion and reduction, reduction until it's minimal, until you basically don't see it. Where do you see it? You see it with big intervals. You can see that if it's, everything is relaxed, then this muscle is going to respond sort of by, by jiggling. Um, so yeah, I think that's part, part of the most common mistake is that um, people think that if they, if they do it sometimes, it's going to, um, it's going to solve the passage, but really it's, it's knowing exactly what active passive motion you're doing on every single note. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's enough for, for the introduction to the rotation mode. Oh, 
The left hand is the opposite, right? This is going to be passive, this is going to be active. Let's do scale. So, active, 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 passive, active, 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 passive, 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 active, passive, passive. Um, yeah, rotation. See you in the next one.